Hi everyone, this is Brett Endes, the dog savant, dogtrainingla.com. So to anyone who's been following the drama in my profession online here, there's a, a one or maybe a group of trainers out there who claim to be positive and force-free and only treat-based, and they're attacking other trainers who are very rational, you know, good people, people who would not have gotten into this profession and deal with the daily trials and tribulations of being a professional dog trainer and making a living as such if they were wanting to do something that's anything but in the best interest of dogs. So to me, that in itself is insane that someone would see that even if they don't agree, see something other than that even if they don't agree with what someone else is doing. I mean, we don't see fellow doctors doing this with one another, other veterinarians, so that's really the point of this video is it's not making us look so great. It makes us look comical, makes us look unprofessional, makes us look like these unregulated people who claim to be the experts that a lot of us tend to be. Uh, there's no licensure, there's no degree, there's no really technically any certification you need other than knowing how to find clients and talk a good talk uh, to be a professional dog trainer and that's the problem is that it's very unregulated so people get away with their emotions overriding their ability to remain objective and professional I mean people who like I have a degree in psychology if you're training to be a psychologist there is a lot of stuff you have to do to prove that you are going to be seeing things clearly and rationally because you are taking the responsibility of somebody else's life you know at times so for dogs, it shouldn't even be much different, yet everybody throws their, as I said at the other video, a bone in the, you know, hat in the ring. And what happens is, is that it gives a lot of people mixed ideas as to what dogs are supposed to be like or how they're supposed to be trained. And of course, I always say the dogs and the owners are the ones who miss out, okay? And the people who are actually helping these dogs and owners, you trying to put them out of business or affect the clients that end up seeking them for this help is not going to do anything good for the canine community okay all i'm saying is let's get rational let's see everything as everything exists versus our emotions blinding us and leading us down the wrong path to either attack or even take the wrong form of training to help our dogs and maybe we can grow as a canine and a human community i'm here for the dogs but i think this can apply to people as well Okay, I hope I said my piece because that's about the last time I'm going to say something about it because I have more fun giving advice on dog stuff. Brett Endes, the dog savant. Please visit my website and blog, dogtrainingla.com. Have a great day. Stop fighting people.